Hi, I'm happy to guide you through the installation of Rear's Rhino MCP server. You can find it along with a full list of other available CAD MCP servers on the solution page of Rear's website. Click to open the GitHub for Rear's Rhino MCP, where everything is well documented. Let's walk through it together. Before we begin, make sure you have the required software installed on your computer. We'll also need to install UV for the next steps. For Mac users, copy this code, paste it into your terminal, and hit Enter. For Windows users, copy this code into your PowerShell and hit Enter. Great! Now we're ready to install the Rhino MCP. First, navigate to the script from here, which will take you to its documentation. Click to download it. You can save it anywhere. Just make sure you know where it is because we'll need it later. Next, go back to the main guide and find the section on Claude Config. Now open Claude Desktop. Click the sandwich icon, or for Mac users, click Claude from the top menu bar. Go to Files, then Settings. From there, head to Developer and click Edit Config. This will open the Claude Config file. You can use any code editor. I'll just use Notepad. Copy this chunk of code and paste it in. Don't forget to save it before closing. And remember, you'll need to fully quit Claude Desktop for the changes to take effect. Now we can open Rhino and connect it with the MCP server. Go to Tools, then Script, and open the script we saved earlier. Once you see this message, it means the MCP server is successfully connected to Rhino. Next, reopen Claude Desktop to check the connection. Looks like it's connected. But just to confirm, there are two ways to double check. First, go to File, Settings, then Developer, and see if the Rhino tab shows Running. Looks good here. Or check this overview to see all the functions from Rhino MCP. Woohoo! We finished the installation and can start building with Claude AI. We're also excited to hear your feedback as we move toward the beta launch of Rear's IDE for industry CAD workflows, which will take things to the next level, supporting multiple platforms with consistent context and more. Join the waitlist on Rear's website to stay updated.